G'day everyone, it's Dean Crop here, the Barefoot Captain, and I'm doing something a little bit different today, a little bit of a gear review. This is one of the pieces of equipment we have on the Barefoot uh, that we use for exploring and looking for shipwrecks and stuff like that, and I really wanted to talk about it because it's a really new piece of gear we have on here, and it's been, I guess, much more useful and much more interesting than I expected. Now, this is the QYC Firefish P3. It's an underwater drone or underwater ROV. Uh, it's a three thruster design. It's got uh, two thrusters here, which give you forward back and turning motion, and then one mid mount thruster that makes it go up and down. And also with those three thrusters, you can adjust your, um, your pitch a little bit as well. Um, really amazing piece of equipment and I've really wanted an ROV for a long time and I spent a long time looking and this is the one I decided on for a bunch of reasons and that's what I'm going to tell you about now. You recording? Yes, we got. <laughs> Grab that. Right out of the box. I was really impressed with the build quality, the engineering of it, the feel of it. You know, it's got a little bit of weight to it. Um, it feels nice and solid. The thrusters are quite large. Um, they're quite strong. They're quite a good distance apart, um, which will give it good turning ability. And also having the thrusters further apart means into current and things like that, uh, you'll have a bit more strength. Um, just before I keep going, one thing you'll notice is my ROV, my Firefish, does not look shiny and pristine. It's got a lot of bumps and scratches and marks and a little bit of boat any foul there you know I guess that's the difference between my gear review and others we really use this this has probably done 40 50 maybe 60 dives on our expedition we've used this a lot many many hours of operation so I really know that this is a good piece of equipment because we've used it hard it hasn't gone and dived in a lake or some calm spot this has done some really hardcore open ocean diving Amazing. Now the control is fairly simple. Um, if you're used to flying a drone, then this will be pretty simple for you to get used to. Um, you've got one controller for up and down, another controller that gives you left, right, forward, back. Um, really simple to get your head around. Like I said, it's just like flying a drone, and it does feel like that underwater. It does feel like flying. The app works on any smartphone or smart device, Android or uh, iOS. Uh, we've put an iPad in here as well, or, or an iPhone, both work just as well. And the app's been really good. The thing I'm most impressed about is the engineering. We had a few um, hiccups with the app, uh, you know, a few teething problems, but this is a brand new piece of machinery. So that was kind of to be expected, but I emailed and talked to QYC and I got responses straight back very quickly and we've had no issues since. It's been a, an absolute pleasure to dive. And we found some really cool things with this uh, ROV too. We found a plane in Vanuatu. We, we dived, the first place we dived with this ROV was this amazing crashed plane underwater. And watching the ROV or, or controlling the ROV around this plane, I was amazed it was so much more agile and um, maneuverable than I expect than I expected I was able to get right in close to the plane even inside the plane and around the wings you know there's so many things you could bump into or get caught on under there but you're really able to maneuver around as if it was you inside the machine you know the first person feeling to diving this ROV this underwater drone is exceptional um, and that's because it's got that little bit more power. It doesn't feel like a flimsy toy. 
it has the power to go against the current to move where you want it to when you want it to. Uh, we've got a 100 meter tether and that was plenty to go all the places everybody was diving. Um, I think if you're going to do really deep shipwrecks you probably want to go a little bit longer. Uh, if you're just diving shallow coastal simple stuff you could go a bit shorter but 100 meters is a good length of tether. Um, but diving this plane was I think we stayed there to dive this plane more and more just so we could explore it with the Firefish P3. Now the reasons I picked this uh, ROV or this underwater drone, uh, the lights at the front, good distance apart, nice and strong. The camera was very important to me because I'm an underwater cameraman. It's a Sony camera with a one inch chip, a really good proven type of camera. And the one inch chip means you're gonna have very good low light capability. You're not gonna get lots of muddiness and graininess when the light starts to drop the deeper you go. And that was really important. I don't wanna have to add so much light that I'm only lighting up what's right in front of me and not seeing stuff in the distance. That's really difficult in an ROV because you can't see where you're going then. So a, a good low light capable camera, very important. And then just the power, it lasts two hours is what it says, but really we've had it diving three or more hours at a time. Um, depending on how much you use the lights, depends on how much time you have underwater. And we have dived it for hours and hours on end and it just keeps going it's really amazing not just to control this but also to dive with it and my cousin guy kind of jumped at this with hands wide open he was really keen to give this a go why because he can't scuba dive guy can't scuba dive anymore because he had a diving accident uh, a bunch of years ago and so he's taken over the diving of the ROV on most of our dives and he can then get down to where we are when we're scuba diving so he was right there with us at this plane right beside us following us around it's like having a faithful dog with you there following you around and diving and it gives him the ability to go places he wouldn't normally be able to go so it really gives anyone out there that doesn't dive or can't dive the ability to go places they wouldn't normally be able to go and that's definitely the thing that impressed me the most. Seeing Guy diving this, seeing it there with us, exploring this plane, really showed me that this is gonna become one of the most useful pieces of equipment we have here on the Barefoot for exploration. You know, we can go down to places even I can't go. It can go deeper than I can. It goes down to 100 meters. Um, and I'm very excited to send it down to depths like that very soon. We haven't gone that deep yet. We haven't found something to look for at 100 meters yet, but I'm definitely excited to go down that deep. Well, my final thoughts are, you know, this, this ROV, it's not a toy. It's fun like a toy. It's so much fun to dive. Really, the, the different people in my crew were itching to have a go. You know, it's great fun to fly it around and a really good feeling to follow animals around and explore things with this ROV, but it's not built like a toy. It's not flimsy, it's not light. It, the engineering in this is really solid, and that's what's more important to me. You know, we can update software and, and the way we use it and the user interface is always gonna be changing, but if you have a good, solid engineering base and a piece of equipment, then it's gonna last you a long time and it's gonna dive really well. It's also really quick to set up. You can have this in the water in a minute or two. Really, really super quick to get diving. You just connect your phone to the controller, connect the controller and the uh, ROV together with the tether, and you're in the water and diving. It takes no time at all, which means you're gonna get it out there and in the water and use it lots. I'm really impressed with it, and I'm super keen to get it diving again. We're gonna be diving around Sydney Harbour looking for some shipwrecks. Uh, so please, 
keep watching this space, follow and subscribe us, and, and you'll see a lot more, I think, from me and the, um, the Five Fish ROV. Well, this is the Barefoot Captain, signing off, over and out.